All right, I'm going to go ahead and narrate part of this video just because I go through a lot of it without talking. And this was a bending and a flexing day for Dawn. Right now, I'm doing serpentines where there's no rhyme or reason. You just go left and right, no real leg pressure. It's just strictly uh, for the nose pointing and for bending purposes. So serpentines, you really pull them around, you really move forward, and you just snake around the arena, left and right, left and right, and it really bends the, the front half of their body. Um, there is a move that you put the leg on when you're doing forward moving circles, but this is serpentines. And just left and right, left and right. This will lower her head over time, but then I'll bring it back up. Because right now all I'm doing is getting her really, really soft and really, really supple. And uh, you do have to do these in a snaffle bit. Now I'm working on the hindquarters. You can see my right foot pushing her hindquarter around. And the goal is to get her to step under herself. And she starts out a little sloppy here. I haven't worked that much on Dawn with this kind of stuff. So here we're going to do the hindquarters again. And she's just a little uncertain. And I just got her back from Heather and Johnny, and one thing they did was they really worked on being able to put leg on her because this is a horse where before I sent her off to training, I really couldn't do very much with her because I couldn't put my legs on her. When I put my legs on her, she would just jump out from under me. Um, it's just because she hadn't had any leg training, and she is a high-energy horse. So um, she was really green, and they taken her beyond that and uh, now I'm going to finish her and here we go we just do a lot of that hind quarters yielding and then the, just step right into a slow gait so here I go I'm going to start combining a series of moves now right now I'm doing a circle first I yield at the hind quarters and then a, a big circle and in the circle I put my leg on her to keep an arc but then I transition into gait here we'll show three moves coming up. Pull her around to a stop, almost a stop. It's almost a one rein stop, but then before fully stopping, I put my inside leg on her. I don't know if I do it here or not. Let's see. I'm doing what I'm doing now is I'm doing the big circle, and I put my le inside leg on her to get her to bend at the arc. Okay. Now we're going to draw down into that one rein stop. Now I'm going to yield the hindquarters by touching her with the inside leg on the hindquarters. And here you can see she really steps under herself. Okay, then to the circle. And bend, pull the nose around, touch her with the inside leg, and then transition out of the big forward moving circle. Okay, you got that? It's three moves. Pull down into almost a one rein stop. But you don't come to a complete stop. You just draw her down. Now push your hindquarters to see my leg there. Now start a big forward motion circle, putting pressure on the inside leg to get her to bend and pulling the nose, and then transition out of it into a slow gait. You'll be able to transition into a walk, a running walk, or a canter eventually. Draw her down to a stop. Yield the hindquarters. She stumbles there. But she does step under herself real good right there. Two, three, four times. Now a big circle, leg on, nose around, and then transition into straightness right out of it into a gait. This really works for relaxing them, but you have to do it in a snaffle bit because you're pulling to the left, you're pulling to the right. That keeps you out of their mouth. There's a lot of pulling in these exercises. And that's for the sake of bending. Now the hind quarters, step under, step under. Now the big circle, leg on, pull the nose around. At the same time, you're just getting them to respond to that pressure, softening them, and then straightness out of the big circle into a slow gait. And I do this over and over and over. We did a 45 minute workout of mostly bending and flexing, serpentines, and transitions. Draw down. There's your hindquarters. She's trying to poop, so she's struggling a little. But here you can see she starts to step under. Now the big circle, or actually not a big circle. 
leg on and transition straight out of it into a walk. So in these exercises, you start out bending, but then you transition into straightness. And that's because the movement in the bending, when you transition into the straightness, is actually a continuation of the movement that you're already in. And so that's why it aids the horse, because the horse really begins to learn what your legs mean and what you're saying with your legs. You'll notice I'm not using any voice here. No clicking, no clucking. This is strictly my legs. Doing all the talking. Pull her nose around. Yield her hindquarters. Step under, step under, step under. Leg on the side, and then transition out of it into a walk. Okay. So transitions, you're going along, you bring them down to a one ring stop, then you get the hindquarters yielding by putting your leg on their hindquarters, then you get them walking in a circle, leg on and bending their nose, leg and bend, off, leg and bend, off, and you get them walking forward, and if you want to transition into a walk, then you just gently let him go into the walk. Okay? So there, we, without clicking, without a word, just through body language. Hind quarters draw to a stop. Hind quarters leg on, outside leg off. Walk forward in a circle, leg on, nose around. Bend, bend, and when you bend them, you put your leg on them, they're walking, and now we're going to transition into gate. Dolly, Dolly. Come on.